Hey friends, it's Wolf here and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can host NNN locally and that completely for free, at least for up to two months. So recently I stumbled upon a very nice offer and I posted about that in our free school community. And it is about a super nice hosting partnership, which is for DigitalOcean. And they offer up to 300 bucks worth of credits for 60 days, which means you can host multiple v VPS completely for free for two months. And you can use this offer here to host NNN completely for free and you don't need the cloud subscription at all. And even after this, you can host it for like six, six or eight bucks in the like following months after the promo instead of paying the full cloud version, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process on how we can set up a new project at DigitalOcean completely for free for you guys and how you can host even multiple NNN instances on your own domain, for example, and on your own VPS here. And you don't need the cloud subscription at all for that, okay? So a super quick update. I know it's been kind of quiet here these past weeks, but I've been working a lot in the background also, I have to say a huge thank you to you guys. We crossed 500 subscribers on the YouTube channel, even though it's been kind of quiet. I just posted some AI shorts with VO3, which we, we, we will also cover in the coming videos. And also, thank you guys so much. We've also crossed 500 members in our free school community, where I post a lot of, you know, AI updates, where I help you guys with questions or workflows, where I share the full JSON templates. And, you know, where we also do some cool giveaways or just some new ideas like reverse engineering Tesla API, Tinder API and so forth. You know, I post about cool promos for this. And also, um, I'm running some cool giveaways as a thank you for you guys for joining the community for one year of Perplexity Pro, which would be more than 200 bucks. But I do have some giveaway codes for that. And as you guys can see, I gave out one code at 400 members and I promised the next code at 500 members, which we just crossed today. So that means I'm going to give out the new code here very soon. So if you guys don't want to miss that, feel free to join and you may be the lucky guy to win Perplexity Pro for a full year, which would normally cost more than 200 bucks. Okay. And I'm giving it away for free and we will do that every hundred members, at least until we have like a thousand. Okay. So without further ado, guys, thank you so much for 500 on YouTube and 500 on school. Don't miss to join. I'm posting all these updates here. I'm posting giveaways like the Perplexity Pro, and I'm also posting super cool partnerships and offers like the Digital Ocean, which we will be using now, okay? And after this video, which will be like 10, 20 minutes, you will have your own full and, and locally hosted the community version on your own domain if you want to. So this instance is going to be completely for free, guys. And without further ado, let's get started and let's use this amazing Digital Ocean offer they have and set up our own droplet, our own project here, okay? So sometimes this may take a tiny bit of time for the DNS changes to propagate, but let's just walk through everything step by step. We will hit a new project here. We will call this something like free NNN, and it's going to be a local NNN instance for us. And we will just, you know, have this as an educational purpose project. We will skip this for now and it'll set up our own little droplet here. Okay. So we need to spin up our droplet here and we can have a region here, which could be New York or anything that works for you guys best. And then we do have some nice images here, uh, such as the Ubuntu one, you know, all the famous Linux ones, but we want to have a marketplace image. And then they have tons of marketplace images like WordPress, Plesk, uh, Lava, Laravel, and all of those good ones. Uh, and we will need NNN, obviously. If you don't see it here, you can just uh, search for NNN here. You can select NNN and you are going to have a nice NNN instance here on the long-term support 22 Ubuntu version, which is perfect. Now you can select one of your um, specs pretty much for the VPS. This is a pretty strong one. If you want to have like tons of video farm workflows and all of that good stuff, or maybe like 50 WhatsApp bots, which we will also cover in one of the future videos, by the way, but we can just go with a pretty small one, like the six bucks one here, which will also be totally fine to have multiple workflows. And then we will have a password here, which, uh, you know, is basically the root password. So let's just set up this. And now let me, yeah, the host name should be fine. We will create the droplet here. And this will exceed my droplet limit. Okie dokie, that's fine. Then I will just delete a different one. So let me just quickly delete the first project here since we don't need this. So we will uh, destroy this droplet here. 
I'm sorry, little droplet, but you have to go. Goodbye. And then we go to our free and end droplet and we quickly need to spin it up again, I think. So you just want to select your marketplace image and hit N. You can have a small one and then you can just spin it up. Here we go. And now let's see. So now our droplet is being created. And once this is being created and has uh, an assigned IP address, we can actually point one of our domains or subdomains to this IP and then we can access it uh, just like here with the wolf wolfai.dev on your own subdomain and you have the full community version, okay? So this will be pretty easy. Now we have our IP address, which is this one, and I will show you how this works. As you guys can see, we also, we have the full credit still for us. So it's, this is completely free. You don't have to pay anything. Don't forget that. Well, at least in the 60 days, we can launch our droplet console here. And now it's connecting to our console. And this is pretty much just the terminal Linux access to control our um, VPS. And that's how we can set up our subdomain. And I'm going to do this now first on purpose because um, this is pretty much how you will do it, but we will still need to have an A record on our DNS zone editor. And yeah, I'll just show you in a second. And this may just time out. So we will reset this while this is just loading for, for a second here. I'm just going to move it like this. Um, you can already go to, uh, if you have like, like a hosting provider or something, that'll be perfect. Something to manage your domain or just your, your domain provider. I'm using SiteGround here, which is a phenomenal provider. I've been with them for like eight or nine years, I think. So, you know, if you guys are still looking for one, um, just look for the best one. SiteGround typically is among the best ones. Um, and yeah, I'll have to blur this, but you know, if you guys are not sure if I actually use them. Yeah, I have like 30 or 40 domains and websites on them and like hundreds of emails and just tons of subdomains and a lot, you know, a lot. And all everything is included in my plan. Like all these, I have unlimited subdomains, unlimited emails, all of that. So you can manage hundreds of websites on them, you know. Um, yeah, we also have our web mailer here. So this is an email I just created. And now let's just check back our console disconnected because the droplet is still being created, but I think now it's working. So we will use SiteGround in our DNS zone editor to actually do that, right? So we will do something like free and add n as our subdomain, then hit return, and then it'll be wolfai.dev for our full domain. And now this will lead to an error because we don't have the, the pointing done yet on this subdomain. So it tells us, okay, we ha we still need to point this droplet uh, or this um, address to the, the, the droplet IP. So we can just copy the droplet IP here. We copy that. And now we go to our DNS zone editor, which is going to be pretty similar, like depending on the provider you have, it's going to be in like some of the settings, some of the domain settings, the DNS zone editor, every provider should pretty much have that. So you can set custom records and we can just set a new record here, which is going to be an A record and it's going to be on our subdomain. So we create a new one. This is going to be the free and eight N one like this. And you assign this IP address and then you just hit create. And it says a record is created. And we do have our free and at end.wolfai.dev record point to our droplet IP here. So this may take a little bit now, like a couple of minutes to properly be assigned and to propagate. Sometimes it may take hours, but I, I hope it'll be super quick for the sake of this tutorial. Now let's just try again, even though, you know, typically you are supposed to wait a little bit, but let's just try again the free and at end subdomain on our wolfai.dev. And it's already seeing the connection, like the pointing. So we can have an, an address now, which could be the n8n at wolfai.dev. And we don't need the custom time zone for now. And now it's pulling everything. It's pulling all the images and setting everything up. Now let's see, I hope the let's encrypt certificate will work. But as you guys can see, DigitalOcean does provide you with a, with a free let's encrypt certificate. That's why you need the email. So I hope that'll, that'll all work, but this should be good. So we should, uh, we, we, we don't necessarily have an email here as confirmation on the, at, at this like stage, but we will have this inbox for our community key for the end version here in just a second, hopefully. So let's wait for this to be finished. And then if everything's working, hopefully we will also see our 
uh, subdomain properly properly being pointed to the droplet IP and then actually showing up, you know. So yeah, let's just wait, let's just wait for this a tiny bit um, for everything to work, and then we will be done soon. Hopefully, this looks pretty good. So installation has been completed. We can now access our end end server in the browser at our subdomain. Now I'm I'm curious if this will directly propagate yet. Let's just check. And it's starting up, so this is perfect. Now we can just wait a tiny bit. We can just exit the console here. You can just say exit, close the console. We will wait for this a tiny bit to properly finish. And then we will set up the community edition. And just like that, you have your free instance here with your droplets here. And this completely for free in the 60 day offer, which I think is, you know, a super nice way of, of doing this. Um, I'll be using this, by the way, a lot also for all our vibe coded applications and all of that good stuff, you know. So yeah, let's just do that. Now we can refresh this and it will launch the NNN community version. We can set up our owner account, which will be the NNN at wolfai.dev. Yeah, I think we call it like that. And then it'll be the wall of dev and it'll just be anything like that. Hold up. Do we, do we have the capital? All right, perfect. <laughs> okay, doc. So we can save that. So we are, um, education, uh, business owner, myself, we are less than 20 people and YouTube. Let's get started. Now we do send me the free license key. And now we can activate the community edition with the free license key on the usage level here. And let's just wait for our email here to arrive. So we will re refresh this, just wait a tiny bit. And then this should be done here very soon. Let's see. So we can enter an activation key. And here we should be good here in just a second. Let's see. Let me just wait a second for the for the key to arrive. This may take like a minute. And then we can enter this and we should be good to go, right? And all this with this cool offer. Also, again, I think I mentioned in the beginning, guys, but you know, we, we just crossed the 500 members. So we will be giving away a new Perplexity Pro key for one full year. And Perplexity is doing a very nice job. You guys know that we've been using it before. Uh, do we have the resource here? Um, yep. Here we have it. We, we built a whole research agent with the perplexity API. So they are really doing a very, very good job. And they are also in talks at the moment to be acquired, acquired by Apple for, I think, a multi-billion valuation, multi-billion UZ value, valuation. So this is quite interesting, definitely. So we do have our license key here now. So we can just copy this license key here. And now we can go to our little droplet here. Um, well, not the droplet necessarily, but then at an instance. And now we have the community ed edition fully activated. So we can go back. And as you guys can see, you, you have the full community edition here now completely hosted on your own domain for free. And you can repeat this well, you know, as many times as you want pretty much. And you also have your personal, uh, folder here. You can just start from scratch, build up a new workflow. And you do have all the nodes, you do have everything here, and then we can just keep going, you know, and build everything we, we'd like to build, right? So yeah, we, we do have the full the full um, workflow here. You can also make folders, you know, and just organize everything super uh, in a super clean way. And this is pretty much how you can how you can have your own and at an instance, guys. So if you guys have any questions with the setup here, with the domain pointing or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. And if you need some like a little bit more detailed help, then feel free to just join the free school community. It's completely for free. We are more than 500 people already. And you can uh, just describe any question you have here in detail with screenshots or anything you'd like. And then we will help you. Um, to resolve that as fast as possible. Okay. So just let me know in the comments and in this cool community, I'd love to welcome you here. We're doing a lot of cool giveaways, a lot of cool projects. We talk about different video ideas here. I give you a lot of AI updates and yeah, there's, there's a lot, uh, going on in the, in the background. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, make sure, make sure you are here. Okay. 
Yeah, and this is pretty much how to set up the full digital ocean workflow. We, ju we, we just set up the full edition here within like 10, 20 minutes, something like that. Everything is working super nicely. And yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Again, thank you so much for the 500 on school and the 500 on YouTube. I hope I will see you guys in the next one and inside the community. And I think that was everything for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wolf is out.